Our next story is from Africa, from the West African nation of Togo. On Monday, Togo adopted a new constitution. They moved from a presidential to a parliamentary system. On the face of it, it sounds like a good thing. The presidential system has often been exploited, used to impose a dictatorship in many parts of Africa. So a new system with the parliament in charge should be a good thing. But in the case of Togo, that may not be the case. Critics say this move will actually benefit Togo's president, Four Nasing Bey, whose family has ruled the country for 57 years. Togo's new system may prolong his grip on power. So critics are calling this a constitutional coup. Our next report explains. On Monday, in one fell swoop, Togo's ruling party changed the rules. They adopted a new constitution and changed the country's government from a presidential system to a parliamentary one. So there has been a rebalancing of the powers of the head of state and the powers of the president of the cabinet who becomes prime minister. From now on, you win the parliament, you run the country. It's that simple. The new term of the President of the Republic is six years, non-renewable. It's a new dawn for Togo. The President will now be a ceremonial figurehead. He or she won't be elected by the people anymore. Instead, Parliament will designate someone to fill the post. Togo's lawmakers say that now it is the Parliament that will be in charge. It's a monumental change, coming less than a month before the country goes to polls. Does this mean that democracy is on the rise? You see, Togo is a country that has been ruled by one family for 57 years. The current president, Four Nasingbe, is a second-generation autocrat. His father, Nasingbe Eyadema, came to power via coup and proceeded to rule Togo for almost 38 years. He died in office back in 2005, and then his son took over the presidency. So, by the sounds of it, this is progress. Togo will finally be free of the long-ruling dynasty. If not now, then after six years, when the new single presidential term ends. But, if that's really the case, why is Togo's opposition furious? Today, we are also calling on the Togolese people to unite to say no to the changing constitution which is why we have called our group, don't touch my constitution. Enough is enough. It is over. We are going to fight. Everyone knows they violated Article 52 and 59. Enough is enough. We've been piling on, accepting the unacceptable for decades. Togo's opposition thinks that a sinister game is afoot a plot to keep President Fo Nasingbe in power even longer. The president took office in 2005. A coup followed his father's death and paved the way for Nasingbe Jr.'s rise. He has ruled Togo ever since, for almost 19 years now. Togo officially has a presidential term limit, but every few years there's a tweak and miraculously the term limit gets reset. This has allowed Nasingbe Jr. to contest and win four elections so far. This year we'll see round five. That is if the constitutional changes don't take effect. Instead of standing for the presidency, Nasingbe Jr. could try and become prime minister instead. After all, that's the new top job. And it may prove easier to win. Nasingbe Jr. would just need a winning parliamentary coalition. And he could continue to perpetuate his family's rule for years to come. And that is why Togo's opposition feels a constitutional coup has taken place.